Happy holidays, my dudes. Hope you guys are having a great vacation away from the stress and pressures of school and all that jazz. Anyways, for today's video, we are going to take a look at one of the things that has been on my Christmas wish list for as long as I could remember. And that is a drawing tablet monitor. But more specifically, the XP Pen Artist 15.6 inch pro tablet. So this tablet was given to me by the kind folks at XP Pen, but this video is not sponsored, meaning I will be honest and fair with my review of this product. But before we begin the review of this thing, let us check out what is inside the box. So inside the box, we get the Artist 15.6 drawing tablet monitor itself, a kickstand for our tablet which lets you elevate the tablet at an ergonomic angle for longer hours of drawing, and a power brick with various adapters. So it doesn't matter what country you're in, XP Pen has got you covered. Aside from that, we also have the cylinder thingamabob which houses our pen along with 8 spare nibs. The tablet also comes with this anti-smudge glove and some documentation. And lastly, underneath all that stuff are some cables that let us attach our tablet to the PC. Cause keep in mind guys, this tablet is not a standalone tablet, meaning that it only acts as another monitor for your PC. So you can't use this tablet without a PC or a laptop. Anywho, let's take a look at the specs of this tablet. So the Artist 15.6 Pro has a 15.6 inch screen with a full HD display resolution. So when you're not using this as a drawing tablet, it could also serve as a second monitor, which is pretty useful when you're multitasking, like when you're doing your floor plans on your main screen and having anime open on the other screen. I mean, you have SketchUp open on the other screen. <laughs> Anyways, this screen has 120% sRGB coverage, which is pretty good for a drawing tablet monitor at this price point. One thing I love about the screen is that it has an anti-glare coating, which means it makes it so that you can easily draw in a very bright room without having to worry about reflections and light sources. Also, the anti-glare coating gives the screen a bit of a matte texture, which makes using the pen a bit easier. It makes it feel as if I'm drawing on regular paper. Cause you know on some tablets, the surface is too slick and lacks a bit of friction, which makes controlling your pen strokes a bit trickier. But in the Artist 15.6 Pro, the friction is just right. Okay, so on the left side of our screen, we have eight customizable buttons, which you can reprogram to whatever shortcut button you want. And bisecting those eight buttons is this red scroll wheel, which I have programmed to be a zoom in and zoom out shortcut. Now moving on to the pen. So to interact with our tablet monitor, we have this awesome battery free stylus, which is about the same weight as a regular tech pen. It is made out of this sturdy plastic material and has a soft touch rubber coating on the grip of the pen. The pen also has these two shortcut buttons, which again could be reprogrammed to any shortcut key that you desire. So this pen comes with a whopping 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and it also has tilt functionality. Which to be honest guys, it's the first time I've had a drawing tablet with tilt functionality and I haven't quite figured out how to use it yet. But I gotta say, using this pen has been an absolute pleasure. The lines you draw are smooth and the transition between pressure levels have been fantastic. So for my workflow as an architect, I often use a drawing tablet to create conceptual sketches to have a quick output on how a building massing would look like. I often also create sketches for initial design proposals to show to my clients. And with the Artist 15.6 Pro, sketching digitally has never been easier. I no longer have to sketch on paper, then scan it, and then email it. With this, I could just sketch in Photoshop, save it, and email it to my clients which is way faster and requires less physical movement. Also, having an actual screen to draw on makes it feel as if I'm drawing on an actual sketchbook. And the good thing about sketching digitally is that you can make however many mistakes you want and you can easily redo them without wasting paper. So you have less pressure to make perfect sketches, meaning more freedom to let your creative wings flap. What? <laughs> Anyway, one of my favorite uses for this tablet is for it touching my 3D renderings. Cause you know guys, you can spend hours and hours perfecting the output of your render, but sometimes you just really have to use the dodge and burn tool to get the shadows just right. And with this drawing tablet, dodging and burning feels like a breeze and I actually had fun retouching my renders. Anyways, I am super happy with this tablet throughout the time that I have been using it. I've never really encountered any problem. So if you guys are interested in picking one of these puppies up, I'll put a link in the description below on where you guys can buy it. And with that, I guess I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on my next video. Flying peace.